Welcome to Always Moving Forward with Renee. Moving, moving forward. Good morning and welcome to Always Moving Forward with Renee. As always, I'm glad you invited me into your home. But my guests today, they come from Detroit Fine Arts Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Okay, the Breakfast Club. And we were with you last week, and we're back again this week for part two. Remember last week I said you're going to be educated? Well, trust me, you're going to be surprised this week. I learned a lot, and I know you're going to learn a lot as well. So let's take a look. Okay, now we have Lamika Riley, and she has her artwork. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your work. Hi, I'm Lamika Riley, and I'm an abstract, manipulated paint artist. Um, this is a part of my manipulated um, series right here. This is a 48 by 48. It's usually acrylics on canvas. Um, I really enjoy this space and time in my life when I um, do these paintings because I have some control and not a lot of control, so things happen naturally. This is more of a, like a landscape type of feel. Gives you a sense of water and landscapes and trees or whatever. I love landscapes. So that's this one, it's untitled. Um, my work this size usually runs about twelve to fifteen hundred dollars, and of course I'm a part of the Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club has done tremendous things for me in my art career. I love the company, the energy, the people I'm around. I learn by just being around such great artists every Monday. It's uh, infectious, definitely. And. This one is one of my larger pieces. It's a 48 by 60. This is called Moods in Motion. So you, we all have different moods throughout the day, throughout the week. <laughs> we go through different emotions. So this one has a lot of movement, um, a lot of textures, kind of like three-dimensional a little bit. And I really enjoy doing this work. When I use this, this type of work, I use fire and chemicals, so I kind of torch everything. I torch on that one as well to give you these cells and bubbles and things of that nature. Oh, this is also a part of my pour series. It was before I started torching things. And this is called the Cosmic Emperor. If you look very closely, there's a face there. But you have to look really, really closely to see his eyes and his nose and his mouth. But yes, um, that's about it. This is the Cosmic Emperor. I love painting, and there's plenty more of me to come. Thank okay, you, Mr. you heard that. There's plenty more of her to come. Now, I wonder at my age, you think I can join the Breakfast Club and learn how to paint? Yes, ma'am. You think I can do that? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We have a yeah. lot of people that just found it and found it talent. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm well into my uh, other life now. You know, <laughs> the, second the, the retirement life. <laughs> yeah, it's my husband and I. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Renee. All right. Let's move on. Okay, and who do we have here? Hello, my name is Ellen Cos. I'm an artist from Detroit. Okay, tell us a little bit about your work. Um, well, I consider myself an uh, expressionist artist. I like to create art. Uh, I just started calling myself an artist last year because of my friend um, Angelo Sherman. But I will really consider myself as being a creative. I like to create beautiful things and things with life. I like things that move and show a lot of color. So I create different types of art. I don't have a specific niche, but I like to just dabble with a lot of things. And I also have a show on YouTube called Let's Create Art with Ella Kaz, and I go around interviewing artists, and I do tutorials, and I'm a member of the Breakfast Club as well. So what I what you see right here today is basically um, one of my impressionist uh, 
abstract pieces. It's an underwater aquatic piece. Um, it's for people that don't like aquariums and you just want to see beautiful fish and see um, colors. It'll brighten up any room. Um, it can go on any color of background walls, uh, eggshell all the way to tomato color uh, wall. I've seen my art on all colors of walls and I've, I'm always shocked when I see stuff. Uh, but this is a piece that I did because I really just wanted to get away. I would have loved to have been around water, Michigan, so I painted something beautiful and colorful and aquatic, so that's what that came from. It kind of regurgitated out what I really wanted to be at, so that, that's this piece right here. Um, and you can see the fish all in here too. Look at there. Yeah, I used acrylic painting and, um, what's the name of it? Uh, fabric paint. I used fabric paint to show more detail, the highlight, and I used a couple of a lot of different types of brushes. I like to use different brushes. I don't like to use the same brush. That's why my art always looks kind of uh, a little different from others because I don't draw, which I am going to work on one day. But right now, mm -hmm. I just paint. Um, and I do landscapes and seascapes, cityscapes. But this is a small um, sample of the type of uh, clouds and um, landscapes that I like to do. Um, this piece is untitled. It's just a small landscape that I did just to you know, show, you know, sometime when it's time for the day to dim down and relax. I like to see the sunset, and you can't really see it from where you're at, so I like to paint stuff like that so I can see my own sunset, even if I can't visually see it realistically. And I also do abstract trees like this. Um, I'm a big, I guess, nature nut, <laughs> so I love to see the outdoors all the time. So a lot of my art do reflect about nature and seeing the beauty and the aesthetics of nature. So that's basically the type of art that I do. I like to do things with life, color um, and just bright tones and hues. So that's really about it. I just love painting. Like um, Monique Riley said, I love to paint and I love what I do. And if you would like to find me, my phone number is 313-502-4485. Or you can follow me on Instagram at Cos Watson on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, and she also told you she has a YouTube channel, am I correct? Yes, I do. Okay, so you can find her on YouTube. Yes, as... if you uh, search for me, look for Let's Create Art with Ellen Cos, and you'll see two seasons and probably 14 episodes now. So I've been doing it for a couple of years, so you guys check me out. Okay, you heard that. Check her out. <laughs> watching Always Moving Forward, Rivernette. We're here today with Angelo Sherman from Detroit Artist Breakfast Club, and he's going to tell us a little bit about himself and his paintings. Okay, this particular piece was done in 1991. This is Miles Davis. Um, I was asleep, and I heard this beautiful horn playing, so I jumped up and uh, I grabbed my paints, and as you can see, this canvas is raw. Usually artists prime their canvas, but I didn't have time. So I used a paint knife, usually I use brushes, and I used the strokes, and it was like rhythm to the music of Miles Davis. And uh, I was able to capture and get into a groove or uh, what artists call the zone. Okay. And um, this is the result. <clears throat> okay, well let's, audience, can you see, this is Miles here, am I correct? Correct. And this is his horn. Right. When I looked at it earlier, you know, I don't have an artist's eye, but now with me staring at it, I could see this. Okay, sometimes you said you were asleep and um, something came to you. Usually artists, we kind of have a, should I say, a spiritual side. Okay. And some images will come to us in our sleep. And I was half asleep. So when I heard the music, I just immediately jumped up and started painting. Okay. Um, this particular area here, this is like uh, what might be a scale, like on a music chart. So I was going up and down, and you can see strokes going in different directions, but I tried to keep a rhythm. Um, Miles Davis is known for playing with a muted trumpet. So this green coming out is the mute sound, which is sweet okay. and mellow. Mm -hmm. And um, that's about it. He has his cool sunglasses on. And uh, this particular piece, uh, 
it's in my private collection, so it's not for sale. And um, that's about it with this particular piece. Okay, well, let's look at this one here. <clears throat> Revolution, Detroit, Soul Brother. Okay, tell us about this. Um, this painting was done in 2007. Um, I experienced a riot as a young boy. Um, I seen helicopters land. I seen army men, soldiers. Uh, this particular image is a African American female, which I actually seen, and it's a um, composite of what I've seen as a child. Um, she had a rifle in her hand, and um, she didn't have a bra on. So I made her the central figure of this piece. Um, at the top, these are looters, and this is a TV here. Uh, soul brother, this meant that you were an African American business owner, and the looters wouldn't burn your store down. So this graffiti is part of the uh, painting. Uh, I also seen burn baby burn on certain buildings. Uh, and also seen how drugs infested the neighborhoods after the riots. We didn't have that drug problem until afterwards. Um, these are tanks rolling down the street. This is a pawn shop owner. Uh, and then I put bullet shells on the canvas. And uh, some of my figures in the background are turned upside down. Mm -hmm. So you really have to look and search for things in my painting. Emmett Till is here, but he's turned upside down. Okay. And, um, there's a lot of just symbolism, like a flagpole with no flag. Mm -hmm. uh, Renaissance Center turned upside down. Even though the Renaissance Center wasn't created then, I was able to still super, superimpose this. And here's a helicopter here. Okay, so a lot of these <coughs> paintings, they tell a story, just like when uh, a, you're writing a song. Correct. You know, they're telling a story. Okay, well, this is good. The revolution. I remember the riots. Okay. I remember the riots. Uh, I grew up on the east side of Detroit. If anyone knows about Helen and Matt, right. you know what was over right. there. Right, right. Well, I want to thank you for coming and bringing me up. One more thing about this uh, particular piece. This was part of the uh, Charles R. Lau exhibition, which ran from July all the way to January. So I consider this a historical piece, and it is for sale. Uh, so five, oh yeah, we need to get that in. Okay, for five thousand dollars for this particular piece because it has a lot of history and it has been in different venues, and it also won cash prizes. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, now, didn't I tell you, audience, we're going to be educated today? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're watching Always Moving Forward with Renee. Okay, we've got Judith Fletcher here. Judith is known as Moving Art, the mother of Moving Art. Tell us what we have here, Judith. Moving Art is an incredible car that I have, and it was God inspired in 2016. My car was boring to me. It was just plain green. And so I said, Lord, what can I do with this car to give it some bling or something? <laughs> so the Lord said, well, put a heart on the hood and some gold flames. And that's where it started. And then I took the car back out on the street. The kids were all excited saying, Mom, Dad, look at the car, look at the car, look at that car. And wow, they pumped me up and got me all excited. So then the Lord said, well, put some streets on there and some cars. So I put the roads all around my car, put little vehicles on them, motorcycles, trucks, cars, and everything. And uh, he 
kept giving me things to do. So I put the American flag on there. I, I had a petting zoo on there, a crown for the ladies, and a peacock on the other side. I've even got a mermaid on there. And so, yeah, uh, I just did everything that God told me to do. And uh, this is the uh, finishing up of my creation. And it's been on the road for a few years now, and people love it. They love moving art, okay? They make me feel like a celebrity in the car. I'm like, it's just phenomenal. Uh, but, you know, um, I'm trying to uh, keep it going and keep the people happy. I uh, want to, um, you know, touch up the paint and put a lacquer on the car and things like that. So I'm, I'm doing a fundraiser. And um, I'm here uh, asking for donations to uh, help me to keep the car on the road. It was in the Dream Cruise last year, and uh, it, it just brought people a lot of joy. And uh, they are always taking pictures of my car and uh, flagging me down. And I come out of the store, and they're at my car taking pictures. And it, it's, you know, it, it's a great phenomenon, and uh, it has brought me so much joy that I, you know, I just can't even explain it. Um, it's a 96 Geo Prism, and I'm actually trying to sell it at this point uh, because, uh, you know, they just show me so much love. I know it's a perfect buyer out there, and uh, uh, if you would love to experience the joy that I'm experiencing, I ask you to come forth, and um, I'm asking for 3000 for the car. And uh, wow, you'll be glad you got it. How can they get in touch with you if they want to make a donation? Well, I am, again, like she said, uh, the mother of moving art, and my phone number is 313-662-4114. And I can be reached under that number Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, now okay. you have another piece here. I have another God-given uh, inspired piece. And this creation... Uh, Can I move it up? Yes, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty special too. Uh, all of my pieces are innovative. They just came to me like that and I got on top of it just like that, okay? And uh, it's something you'll probably never see anywhere else. It's called Get out of your head. You know, we all have to get out of our head from time to time, right? Okay. So. Motivational. Yes, yes. This would make a nice desktop piece, you know, for your office. You know, and, and when I look at it, I, I get a lot of joy out of this piece too because sometimes I'm thinking too much, thinking too hard. I might be thinking somebody's thinking something about me that they're not even thinking about me. Right. And I'm like. I look at the piece and I said, okay, I'm going to calm down. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, this piece is going for $150. Uh, yeah, and it's going to bring a lot of joy to somebody. Again, I can be reached at 313-662-4114. Okay, you Thank heard you. that. Get out of your head. That's a motivational piece. And she has the one of a kind. One of a kind car with moving art. It's, it's got something for everybody. It's got the mermaid, it's got the cars, it's even got King Kong, and most men love that one. People will sit back in the um, street in the traffic and they'll cruise up on my car real slow. They'll be taking pictures and everything or just looking and trying to see, okay, what's going on here? But when they get up there and see King Kong, it's like, an aha moment. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, thank experience. you so much. Thank you. Okay. okay, welcome back to Always Moving Forward with Renee. Thank you, thank you. And we have Jay uh, uh, Asquini. All right, Asquini. Yep. Okay, Jay, go ahead. Tell us what you got here. Well, uh, I brought in a couple paintings here, which um, I call portraits, 
because um, I'm not, I'm a self-talk painter. I uh, was a working photographer for 20 years. Oh, okay. I should say I'm an, I'm an accidental painter because I had an accident that ended my working career and uh, I picked up painting uh, kind of as a therapeutic benefit. Um, and so these are the kind of things that I produce. And um, what I like painting to do for me is introduce me to people and allow me to mix with people similar to what we do at Breakfast Club every week. Uh, and that, we met one another today. Yeah. And, and so uh, I find people who are an inspiration to me and um, rather than claim to make a portrait of them, then I use their style, their looks as a point of departure to try to capture something in the painting that attracted me to them. Oh, okay. All so right. these are oil on canvas, and um, that's about it. Okay. So uh, you something attracted you to these ladies here? Yes. Okay, so yeah. does something attract you to me? Absolutely. Will I see myself on canvas? Oh. What you think? Yeah. <laughs> okay. you don't sit for me anytime, Renee. Okay, all right, good. Now, you know, you said you did photography before. Um, I tried to do photography. My uh, son was a photographer, and uh, he, was, he was a good one. But I never got the hang of it. Matter of fact, I even joined the photography uh, club at my church. I went out and took pictures one time. <laughs> I said, mm -mm, this is not for me. But OK, thank you, Jay. Let's thank give you. Jay a hand. Thank you very much. Okay. Breakfast Club. You're watching Always Moving Forward with Renee. Audience, if you'd like to get in touch with me just to talk or you want prayer, please contact me at 313-657-5556, or you can email me at gwealths111 at gmail.com. Also, you can see our show every Sunday, every Sunday at 11.30 a.m., and we're back again on Friday at 12 noon on Comcast Channel 20. Viewers, you can contact Detroit Fine Arts Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Club. Breakfast Club. You can find them on Facebook. And remember, they meet every Monday, every Monday, at Noni's Sherwood Grill, 19700 Livinois. Detroit, Michigan. Now they meet at five o'clock, so make sure you're there by five. And again, audience, I want to thank my co-host, and I want you to know God loves you, and so do we. Amen. Yes. Thank you. See thank you, you next week. Thank you. Enjoy Always Moving Forward with Renee. This is your girl Vicky Winans and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock, the Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network.
This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Clifton Davis, and you're watching Bell Global Network.